Welcome to this Video Som Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today we have some sort of a box. <coughs> Looks quite a big box. So um, yeah, <coughs> it's uh, very exciting. What could be in this box? I don't know. However, we're going to find out. Which means we're going to have to cut into the box. Now, usual nice safety rules. Um, don't, whatever you do, <coughs> take hold of a knife if you think that for whatever reason, um, Thursday is edible. If you think that Thursday is edible, then you can't use knives. Also, make sure you have, and this is uh, the first time I've, gonna have had one in for a while in an unboxing, a cup of tea. Always safety first. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to try and do this one-handed, which uh, I recommend you don't do. Um, so we've, saw <laughs> we've sawed into the side of it, so that's good. And now the next... Oh, come on you. Right. <laughs> I'm going to work, or do I have to... Ah. We're in. I went to market today and I bought lots of carrier bags. And, um, packing bubbles. First time I ever saw these. I got my uh, Windows XP Media Center Edition remote from uh, my then girlfriend for my 18th birthday. Nice! I have. Uh, this could come in handy. It seems to be some sort of plastic uh, wallet type thing. Yeah, brilliant. That's so. This is it. I have a plastic wallet type thing which I. Uh, Got through eBay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Now we can. And now the package becomes more clear. Oh, so let's um, so let's uh, get let's dig this out. Do, 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 do. Let's put this box out of the road. And here we are. This is a compact iPack Pocket PC. It's uh, apparently slim and powerful, which is uh, not something that can be said about the box. If we have a look at the uh, back here. <coughs> um, it's Windows Mobile. Feel like cheating uh, obsolescence? Choose a power tool with a unique system of modular expansion packs. An extraordinary variety of expansion options is available to keep you in touch with the real world. Do more with life. Use an iPack Pocket PC. Look, it's compact. Oh yes. Except for, um, by this time, the whole thing had probably went to HP in a handbasket. Oh, and that compact seal had broken. Why would you... Why would you give us a compact logo on a seal that that gonna break? Come on, compact. Um, <clears throat> record your thoughts. Press a button. Speak your mind. Organize your thoughts easily by attaching a voice note to Microsoft Outlook files. If I were look, if I were to speak my thoughts, I'd be carrying out around the most hated pocket PC in all of yeah. Um, yeah, in in all of the land. Real colour for the real world. 
Good. I I was worried it wouldn't have that. I I thought it would have fake color for the, which which wouldn't be for the real world. Um, or it could have a black and white uh, passive matrix display, which would be beautiful. Except, in every which way sense of the word, it would actually be U G L Y. It ain't got no alibi. It's ugly. It's uh, <laughs> never mind. <clears throat> uh, help a tea, sorry. Uh, real colour for the real world. View pictures and websites in, vi- in vivid colour, even in the sunlight, with our reflective TF- uh, TFT reflective display. With, y- oh, with yours, really. <laughs> Find it quickly. Locate what you need quickly with the Find feature, just like on your Windows desktop PC. Stay connected. Slip your iPad Pocket PC into its cradle and it aut- and automatically synchronise your Outlook email calendar and contacts with you. your desktop. Whoa! This is going to be great, this is. Um, <clears throat> play your favourite music, the Beatles, Beck or Beethoven. Take your favourite MP3 music files with you anywhere. Start here. Navigate quickly and easily with the familiar start button. Are you listening Microsoft? You might benefit from something like this. And not just the start button, the start menu as well, I might add. Uh, Put your desktop in your pocket. Really? I don't think my desktop would fit in my pocket. Um, (laughs) Work from anywhere with Microsoft Pocket Word, Excel, Internet Explorer and Outlook. Well, I use Visual Studio 2012. How how am I supposed to... Sorry, remind me how I'm supposed to... Never mind. Um, Navigate faster. Glide up and down and around with ease. Using the new one-touch navigation button. That would probably be this guy here. Expand your experience. Use optional expansion packs to add functions when you need them. Access your corporate wireless network for email and web browsing. Send and receive high-speed data and make phone calls over GSM slash GPRS networks. Well, that must be with one of those guys. Optional expansion pack. Dual slot PC card expansion pack. PC card expansion pack. CF card expansion pack. Bluetooth slash CF card expansion. Or wireless GSM uh, GPS, uh, GPRS data and voice pack. So, you could actually use this as a rudimentary smartphone. How good it would have been, I would not know. Um, to be honest, I really am holding out no shakes, because I have uh, another PDA quite similar, and there's basically no battery in it now. Um, so, let's see what you need to run it. Okay, um... Uh, minimum desktop computer requirements. Microsoft Windows XP, Microsoft Windows 2000, Windows Millennium Edition, Windows NT Workstation 4.0 with service pack 6 or later, or Microsoft Windows 98. Microsoft Outlook 98 or, or later. Um, required for synchronization to the desktop or portable computer of email, calendar, contacts, tasks, and desktop or portable computer. Or notes. Hang on. Microsoft Outlook 98 or later required for synchronization uh, to the desktop or portable computer of email, calendar, contacts, tasks, or notes. Microsoft Outlook 2002 recommended. Now, when I got my uh, first ever smartphone, it was a Windows phone. It was a HTC Hurricane branded as an Orange SPVC 550. And I got a copy of Outlook 2002 um, with this smartphone. Um, hard disks uh, with hard disk with the uh, 12 to 65 megabytes on, of available hard disk. Actual requirements uh, will vary based on a selection of features and user's current system configuration. Available 9 or 25 pin communication port adaptive required for the 25 pin communicate. Really? <coughs> Um, infrared port or USB port available for Windows 98, Windows ME uh, um, or Windows 2000 or Windows XP only one CD-ROM drive 
VGA graphics card are compatible, video graphics uh, adapter at 256 colors or higher, keyboard, Microsoft mouse are compatible. Sorry about that, um, I'd run out of memory there because I'd forgot to delete some videos. Anyway, we're looking at options for Windows NT when XP 2000 Millennium Edition NT4098. Um, audio card speakers for sound, Office 97, Office 2000 or Office XP, um, modem for remote sync, Ethernet LAN for connection to remote synchronization. Uh, oh, my requirements for Outlook 2002. So I'm guessing this came with Outlook uh, XP as well. Um, hard disk space requirements will vary depending on the configuration, uh, custom installation choices. may require more or less hard disk space. 245 megs of available hard disk space with a 11, uh, 115 meg on the hard disk on which the operating system is installed. RAM requirements depend on the operating system used. Windows 98 or Windows 98 second edition 24 megs of RAM plus an additional 8 megs of RAM for each office program running simultaneously. Windows Millennium Edition or Microsoft Windows NT 32 megs of RAM plus an additional 8 megs of RAM for each office program running simultaneously. Windows 2000 Professional um, 64 megs of RAM plus an additional 8 megs of RAM for each office program running simultaneously. And of course Windows XP itself requires you to have um, yeah, uh, 64 megs of RAM as a minimum, but uh, I would never recommend that. I would recommend running XP on the very least nowadays at 512 megs because it has grown exponentially since it's RTM'd in 2001. Um, and then on the other side of this box, a, uh, iPack H3760, um, it has a colour display, 64 megs of RAM, protective slip cover, li -ion, uh, lithium ion polymer battery, AC adapter, USB sync cradle, and C active sync 3.5 system requirements. Um, I don't know if I missed those. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, no, I, I, we read those. Derp. Okay, so let's actually have a look in this uh, behemoth of a box. Seriously, this box is huge. Apparently, this was bought as some sort of a gift years ago that was uh, unwanted. Um, it had been powered up once and it was working. Um, but um, it's just basically been set in a box, so the battery is probably completely depleted now. Um, so yeah, this is practically new. Ooh, what's this? So now we have a um, piece of plastic with the compact logo on it. That's fine by me. Um, let's have a look at what is in here. This box kind of smells old. It kind of smells like old library books. Oh, we do have uh, Outlook 2002 on this CD. And then we have a protective carry case, which is very nice. And uh, we've got all the uh, literature, warranty information, important safety info, worldwide telephone numbers. Our service is great. Want it even faster? Purchase a comp... Uh, Compact care pack now for your uh, new iPad pocket PC. I don't think I will because that would go to Hewlett Packard. Apparently, there's got some special features here. I wonder what that could be. Could I turn it into a tease made? Even though they went out of style in the 70s, but never mind. Hey, look, what's wrong with wait? Seriously, what's wrong with waking up to a nice cup of tea in the morning? Then again, having said that, if it's been brewing all night, then yeah, I can completely understand. Okay, so let's have a look. We have a um, we have um, a power adapter, um, just a generic power adapter. You usually get with these things, um, and a dock for the compact. 
I actually have one of these for the other machine that I've got. Um, so I might just uh, I might just leave this in its box and use the other dock. I've just thought of something as well. I might be able to charge the other one. We also have getting started uh, with your nice new compact. And then we have the unit right here. I don't know where the battery is, whether the battery's in the system or whether it's... Yeah, what's the deal with that, actually? Um, I couldn't find the other battery. Oh, look at this. Please install ActiveSync. It's still got the screen protector. Very nice. Um, obviously, this is dead as a doornail. Naturally, it is. Um, but I don't know uh, where the lithium-ion battery is. However, I do have some destructions here. So I might be able to go on a mission. I might be able to go on some sort of a fact-finding mission to find out where I said uh, lithium-ion battery is. But it's got a USB there. So um, I can hitch this straight up to my computer. And plug it in. Excellent. So there you have it. This is uh, the uh, HP Compact. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to find out uh, what all's with the battery and then we're going to switch it on and have a look, see if it actually goes. Uh, so uh, bear with me. Now this looks a lot better on camera than it does in real life but the screen is um, your average typical uh, 2000 early 2000s, um, you know, reflective screen. It'll, it'll uh, reflect really well in the light, uh, but obviously, unfortunately, the backlight makes it look a wee bit washed out. Um, but first, before we do anything... You have to set it up. And then there's a tutorial, so... I've got to tap and hold. And I've got to go through the uh, tutorial. And uh, now I've got to uh, set my time zone. I don't live in uh, the uh, Pacific time band. I love I don't live in London or Dublin either, but that's the closest to me, so Expand your iPad Pocket PC expansion pack system. Oh, that's a beautiful tune. Oh. Oh, and as far as I was aware, I wasn't aware that it was uh, September the 3rd, 2001. Herp So, yeah, that, that didn't really go down so well. So, obviously, I need to set the date to something. A wee bit more contemporary. Uh, right. Ugh. Well, Compact, we're really, um, we're really quite onto something with this uh, expansion dock. Um, I don't know what it is, but I don't appear to have. Uh, I do not appear to have. Uh, correctly uh, calibrated my stylus either. Um, so yeah, um, let's have a look. The time is currently 11. Um, I think it's, uh, I think we're going to go for uh, 45, I said 45, yeah dafty, um, in the AM. Oh yeah, AM. And the date is actually ten thirty. Oh, I've got a number pad here. Two zero one three. And yes, it is. The date is a wee bit backwards. There we go, I have set it correctly. October 2013. Um, the date is a wee bit backwards because, of course, it's America. Um, save changes to clock settings. Why, thank you. Yes, I would very much like to do that. 
So let's have a look at uh, what's on here. Hang on, let's uh, let's see if there's any networking. I'm guessing not because I'm guessing uh, they're expecting me to install a pack pack, the expansion pack, the pack pack pack. Imagine, imagine there was um, imagine there was the ultimate expansion pack for one of these. Would they call it the pack pack? Um, save contacts. I task. I task. Really? Oh, very nice. Infrared receiver. CF backup. Who's CF backup? Now that means compact flash backup. And the solitaire. There's not even jawbreaker on this. What are, what's all this about? And then, of course, you've got your copy of Microsoft Word. I wonder if there's a keyboard pack. Uh, because I think if you were going to do some serious typing on here, you would need a keyboard pack. This was, um, I think this was that awkward period between... I think this was that awkward period between, you know, having PDAs with physical keyboards and, you know, touch screen... Uh, devices that you could properly use with your fingers. I do believe this to be uh, a resistive touch screen. But being a new PDA, it's actually a uh, new in-box PDA. It's actually got uh, such a thing as a stylus. But uh, if you don't want to use a stylus, this, well, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to get about with uh, not using a stylus. And then I'll show you the uh, really cool way in which you get the stylus. What you can do here as you can use the uh, navigation key, or maybe not. But you can use it for some things. Just not all things. Um, and then when you realise that you can't, in fact, uh, get by without completely... Uh, without using the stylus, what you do to release it, you flick this switch, and then... Hang on, no, you don't flick it, you press it, and then the stylus comes out. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. <laughs> it's better than me using the wrong kind of stylus on my um, HP and losing it. Um, but uh, let's have a look at the back. It's, um, oh my goodness, it's already got some uh, marks missing. This is what you would call open box, so I believe. Um, so let's, um, let's test out the microphone, see if that works. Um, where's the recorder? Or do I need to go into Outlook to actually do that? I think I need to create a new contact. Let's do the whole computer chronicle thing. Let's... In fact, let's use handwriting recognition, see if it'll, uh, see if it'll, you know, see if I can, because I was able to get one of these things to work using graffiti. No, no, I don't know what that is. Letter recognizer. Whoops. I'm not doing well at this. There we go. I go to notes. I wonder. Tools. 
edit oh and then and then if I want to uh, find out and, and I, I'm doing this I, I put Stuart Shafane from the Computer Chronicles because I'm emulating a demonstration that um, someone did with a, an Apple Mac um, so say you know I've got Stuart Shafane's name in there you've probably I don't know if you see it there but it's spelled Chief it now if I was a if, if I didn't know how to spell or pronounce Shafane uh, what I could do is I would record and say Shafay. There you go. And then, oh. Hang on, let's try that. There isn't enough space for the embedded voice note. Either embedded voice recorder, the. Nonsense. How can. Compaq, you had one job! Try using a more compressed file of. Never mind. Oh well, I have Stuart Chaffee's name. I don't have any contact details. I know that he has an email address. I did send him one once, but he didn't. Um, disabled to... Oh wow, it's got automatic gain control. Nice. Um, sends a notification. Oh wow, I remember that sound. There we go. I've got no upcoming appointments. Well, I guess I could uh, synchronise, could have a go at uh, plugging it in and syncing it with my email. That might not be such a bad idea, uh, seeing how it works. Because I've got, I've got, I actually use Outlook as my contact I actually use Outlook for everything you can use Outlook for. Let's have a look at Media Player. You're listening to the Windows Media Player or Pocket PC. Nice! Nice, very nice. So, to summarise it, the display looks crap, the sound is a wee bit better. And there's no Wi-Fi, it's got about as much features, as, it's got about as many features as a Highland Pay Toilet, and do you know what? I quite like it. <laughs> um, these iPacks were actually quite good back in the day. Now I forgot what this button did, so I'm going to press it now and see what happens. Oh, it's notes. Let's see if I can record. Stuart Chaffee. Oh, it's actually done it. Stuart Chaffee. Uh, okay. So let's try that now with the automatic gain control on. So I'm going to go back to start. Uh, settings. Oh, wait, wrong screen. Wrong screen. Wrong screen. And go back. Stuart Chaffee. Stuart Chaffee. Sounds much better. Listen. Stuart Chaffee. Stuart Chaffee. So actually, for what it is, it's just meant as a you know basic uh, dictation machine. It's not bad at all. Quite clear. And uh, the automatic gain control actually does work. It's not like one of these gimmicky things like SRS Wow, which basically takes your music and make it makes it sound terrible. Um, so yeah, well done, Compact. You've actually put a sound enhancement feature in that enhances your sound. Wow, who'd have thunk it? Um, so yeah, so let's have a let's. Have, oh, blah, 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 losing uh, my camera here. So uh, let's let's uh, lock this PDA, and I will just uh, put the stylus away. As I just said, at five years old, we put the stylus to bed. No, oh, there we go. And uh, what we'll do, I'll uh, show you around. So this, I believe, is a headphone socket, infrared stylus release mechanism. If you want another demonstration. Pow. <laughs> 
who can ever get tired of that? On this side, there's nothing. Underneath, you've got the uh, station, the, what is it, station connector. Um, the uh, sink cable, the uh, dock connector. Um, you've got the charging port, which is actually currently being occupied. That, I do believe, is the microphone. And then here, I believe you have um, the speaker. So, um, yeah, it certainly has uh, certainly has the ability to be used as a phone. So there you have it. This is uh, the Compact iPack. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, instructions on how to do so. URL will follow. Um, URL will follow. Also, if you like this channel, please feel free to like us on Facebook. The Facebook URL will also follow. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope to I hope you will all join me soon when I do my next film, video, movie thing for YouTube. Thank you for watching. Hope to uh, hope you'll all join me again. See you all soon. Thank you.